Ronnie, got an immersion here with audio. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that bug. It's some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. It... All right, let's watch this again. It looks like a bug yeah. trapped under a glass. I googled that. It's pretty good. I mean, I look at this. Got to take out the scrubbing. Hold on. Uh, I usually check for kind of the the guiding of the audience where. Watch out. She just has a bit of a move here and then he does it at the same time. I understand that she's moving and he's reacting to her. But it's also a little bit like she anticipates and then he already moves. You might argue he's hyper aware and just, you know, for every single move. But I'm concerned that it's going to be a little bit of she's about to go back and say something and now we're here. It's, it's not huge, but I would still potentially wait a bit longer. It, I don't know. It's a little thing here. It looks like a bug. Yeah. Even when she talks here, he starts to nod. Like I'm slightly drawn between the two. Like a bug. Yeah. Trapped. And then you got a big move on him. And then she moves back at the same time. Trapped under a glass. I Google See, this is nice because she's done. Which, you know, eyeline wise makes no sense here. She can't look that far back. So I mean, what you could do is also she says all this and then fully turns around where we are. You know, that's the nose and, and that's my awesome drawing. And we can't see her eyes. So really, it guides the audience fully back to him. I Googled that bug. It's some sort of. And then when she goes back, like he has such a big move and we want to look at him. And there's this big distracting move. So I'm going to go back to her. Some sort of demonic cricket. And because she's not moving, I'm resting here and I'm, then I'm going back. So it might be something where she does this, turns around, right? So we we don't see her eyes. So once we see no eyes, we go to him. We rest on him. And then even if she moves back, slow it down. So she doesn't back, go back so far. She just get up and do a side move. But because we don't see her eyes, we can stay on him. Some sort of demonic cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when provoked. A cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when... And I don't mind that one because he says chunks and goes back. But I think you could have this and then she looks. And not happen here at, kind of at the same time. Chunks out of your skin when provoked. Cricket that takes chunks out of your... Just a few frames later. Your skin when provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. <laughs> I do like that, though. Then now he gets closer to her. Uh, Pose-wise, you're mentioning here, you're not quite sure about the poses. Out of your skin. So if I look at... So yeah, that's the first thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm rambling, but that's the first thing that I look at. You got two characters or more, making sure that everything's very clean. Unless, unless, of course, this is blurred out and you just really always focus on him. And this is just kind of there for context. And even though... It is a close-up. Yeah. You're intentionally blurring her out, you know, so that it's always on him. I mean, that could be one other way. It looks like a bug. Yeah. I definitely like this, that he's so tense that he like he's protecting his hand. It's squished in there. Arm, uh, shoulders are up. I think that as a compressed pose, given his sta state of mind right now, I think that's great. Trapped under a glass. Even like the lips, like everything is tense. Tense. You can even tense up those fingers a little bit. Make make this even a bit sharper. Like everything is tense, tense, tense. I googled that bug. It's some sort. And I like that he does this. Usually I would go like mm, watch out for arm, one arm gestures, overuse. But I like that it's you're not relaxing this upper arm. You're still tense, but you want to point, but you keep it sharp and you keep this going. I like that a lot. That bug. It's some sort of demonic. And even here, it's not a lot of move because he's still tense. He wants to look at her, but he's not going to change his pose that much. Demonic cricket that takes chunks. Not sure about this, because now you're getting a bit into a slight W and a twin pose, even though there's an offset here. Cricket that takes chunks out of your skin when. This could also be a thing of chunks. Chunks. I like. I don't mind as he steps back. I like that he wants to get back from this. Like he's he's disgusted by it. it takes chunks. And that's why you're taking a step away from the potential danger. So I like the idea of stepping away. But could it be something where he goes chunks? Chunks, and then it's more like like we're like, oh, like imagine it, it disgusts him or he's kind of like, oh, or in pain. 
versus that. I wonder if this is a bit too generic and you can push the idea of imagine the creature would take chunks out of him. What would his pose be? Does he wave it off his body? Does he go like, like, like I said, a shiver through or whatever it is? I think that might be potentially more original. I know there's like a super lazy critique in terms of make it more original. But I'm, that's just the thought here, where this might be not pushed enough. Out of your skin when provoked. Chunks. Is and then chunks, maybe you go with contrast with, I hear chunks and I feel like that's a big piece and you're going for a little piece. Maybe. Provoked. Chunks is the word that Google used. I'm not sure. As you're saying, you're not sure either, but this seems to me a bit more generic. One arm out. I think this is, this is an interesting direction. I think this could be, again, it kind of depends. Depends, you can also do... Out of your skin when provoked. Chunks. Chunks. I mean, if you're already doing something and maybe maybe you want to go broader, maybe slightly overanimate on purpose, he could have his arm closer and imagine he is having like a claw towards her. Chunks, and he's kind of pantomiming like his fingers are clawing. Chunks, like he's, he's doing that type of thing. Is the word that Google used. And maybe I wouldn't relax there. Maybe just kind of keep that arm into a sub pose and leave it there. And it's more like that's your accent in terms of a funny what's what's kind of acting out chunks. And then the rest is then in his head again. I'm not sure you need this in another another bigger pose. Or it's chunks. Chunks. And it's kind of like, okay, this might be way too on the nose. I'm slightly, usually I, want, I don't want to act out words, but I'm slightly entertained by the idea of him acting this out with his with his fingers being you know the creature's mouth chunks and then like a little bit like an extra little grab there so one two sub pose with a little munching here in his fingers that google use that google use and then you just have a bit of a head tilt maybe not sure again not sure you need this i will probably stay in whatever pose you're here and just relax it a little bit i don't know this goes into very subjective territory so I'm going to leave it at that. The only other thing I would say is that the reason why I'm also entertaining the idea of her turning around is that it gives her a more complex move where she could be, he could maybe be here. And when she gets up, she will be here. She travels a bit and turns. And right now she is here. And when you go back, it's basically a straight backwards move where there's no big change in the line of action and the posture. You can't really tell anything that moves straight away from the camera is a bit hard to decipher. So I will probably vary that pose and give this a bit more complexity on the way back there. Alrighty, let me know what you think. I know these are some bigger changes and definitely some subjective notes. So feel free to disregard and use whatever you want. Uh, let's discuss. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.